Hi. You guys are out on the swing? Yep. <laughs> Obed, are you enjoying the concert? <laughs> Can you believe how loud that's getting, Bethany? Yeah. You know, I'm starting to hear it inside the house. <sighs> it's oh like a low, dull hum inside the house. Kind of driving me crazy. Yikes. Right? You know how you get a ringing in your ears or something? It's like that. Yeah. A few more weeks. You guys get out here and get some vitamin D and yeah. fresh air and sunshine. <laughs> yep. That Arnie like the cicadas. <laughs> well, Arnie does like the cicadas. Yesterday he ate two of them. <laughs> which won't hurt him at all. Apparently it'll, it'll only hurt him if they eat too many of them. Uh -oh. Which Bo is doing. Apparently he's way overdoing it. But poor cicadas don't stand a chance around these dogs. <laughs> Where are they? Are they, uh... Well, now, the cicadas, you mean? Yeah. Well, now, you can actually begin to see them flying around. So, they won't hurt you. They don't sting or anything like that. But they're, they're in the grass and in the trees. And they're on, like, vertical wood surfaces. And even on the house and things. But, um, I don't know if I can catch it on film. But they are flying around the, the yard now. So... They're everywhere. <laughs> right, Obed? He likes it, I think. I figured that the kids would enjoy this. Bethany, or um, Jesse and Obed especially. It's a sensory delight, isn't it? Yep. An audible sensory delight. To some, to others, it's an annoyance. <laughs> Obed. Are you having fun? You have a wonderful sister, Obed, and a, and a wonderful attendant who is very helpful to me. This is the kind of stuff that Bethany does for me. And then I can go and, you know, spend more time with Jesse and get a little housework done. Right, Bethany? Yep. Yeah, we don't, we don't ask you to do the messy stuff, though, do we? No. The bathing, the dressing, the, the changing, that sort of thing. We don't ask you to do those things, do we? Just more companion stuff. Feeding. A little bit on the feeding side. Supervising when he has things that he can eat himself, right? Yep. Yeah, mostly. You like the cicadas? I think he does. He wants you to swing higher, I oh. think. he's trying. It looks like he's trying to push you. There you go. Good job. All right, well, I'm going to go back in okay. and tend to the others. All right. You guys enjoy the sunshine. I wish Abby could come out here. I'll ask her if she wants to. Okay. All right. Bethany. Yes? Can you hear anything? <laughs> I, hear, I can hear the cicadas. I can hear them too from inside. I don't know if the microphone is going to pick that up or not. Let's get closer in. <laughs> it's loud and clear to me. It's pretty bad when you can hear them inside the house, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my storms, they're getting louder <laughs> and louder. Could you hear it in your room? I can if I listen for it. But usually at night when I go to bed, I'm sleeping. So, <laughs> but yeah. I can sure hear them now, even above Jesse, actually. Wow. I know, right? Right. It's the invasion of the cicadas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> Loud and clear. Yep. Yeah, Marty. Is that a bug? <laughs> There's a cicada. Oh, he <laughs> jumps when you bark. Get him. Get him. <laughs> they are 
harmless. Are you gonna eat him? Uh. <laughs> I, I know. I know you just want to play, Arnie, but I'm afraid he's on his last wing. I did the math. Yeah. The next time the cicadas emerge, you and I yeah. will be 80. 80 years old? 80 years old. Holy, oh my storms. <laughs> so we should savor the last <laughs> arrival. For God, now, we'll God see. God willing. We'll God see willing. him again. God we'll willing, see him we'll again. Yeah, Lord willing. We'll see him again with our middle-aged children sitting out by the pool. How old will Jesse be? Jesse will be, what, 37? 37 years old. <laughs> I know. And oh, Hannah will be... Don't ask me to do the math. 43. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine them being no, that age? No, I can't really. Can you imagine us being 80? Uh, easier. <laughs> easier. I think it doesn't seem that far away at no, this point. No, it's 17 years, actually. Unbelievable. Really? Oh. About that. Is that why they call it the 17 year cicadas? Maybe. All right. Yeah. Lord willing, we'll be here. Are you still having fun with that cicada? I think he's over it now. Well, he probably get him in. Poor cicada. Uh, he was. Arnie just wants a friend. Done in anyway. <laughs> you have the funniest part, Arnie. They are Arnie. flying all over the place now. <laughs> I can kind of see him up against the trees over there. I don't know if you can catch that. <laughs> well, I am recording in 4K. I might have to zoom in. There are there's some out there. When the sun hits them, mm -hmm. you can see them flying around. When the sun hits them, there's one right there. Oh. I might have to zoom in with my. It won't be long. A couple more weeks, and they'll all be gone. They'll be gone. They'll be God. gone. Having having it's done like, what they need to do, when they emerge, yeah. they'll be finished. And um, yeah, they're like locusts. Very interesting. All of it's very interesting. But they're pretty harmless. They don't harm, you know, plants or trees or people or animals. They just the very young shrubs yeah. are most in danger. But the rest of it, they really don't do any damage. Yeah. I, I think, frankly, so. we haven't seen the end of this yet. But I think we've had a a lighter season than what they were last time. I mean, we might still be in for it, but I think the weather has been weird. I seem to recall them being a lot louder. Yeah. When we had, in our previous home, our, our lot, if you can believe it, was more wooded than this. Yeah, we had a, over a hundred trees in And we had backyard. three acres there. Yeah. So it was, um, it was much louder, as I recall. Yeah, but we'll see. We're gonna, We'll do more updates as we have more information of the cicada invasion of 2021. And then all of a sudden, one day, it'll be quiet again. They'll be quiet, and they'll be gone, and we'll be thankful. <laughs> yes, we will. And Arnie will be... Are you eating it now? Oh, no! It's gone! Did you really eat it? They are edible. What about that place? He did. He ate it. Hey, there's a place out there. No, 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 no. No place is going to be serving this. Serve no, that's tacos. nasty. That's impossible. That's like an impossible meat, right? In a restaurant. In okay, a restaurant. I think he did eat it. Okay, well, uh, it won't hurt him. He's probably uh, Okay, all right. <laughs> I was going to ask what's for dinner, but I'm not so Arby's much hungry anymore. <laughs> No cicadas. Cicada tacos. No, it's a thing. No, no, there no, is no. a restaurant. I saw That's it. That's disgusting. Anybody? Well, I'm not going to eat a cicada taco, but no. I think there are people who kind of get into that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, I thought I, I think I missed it. All right, let's see if we can get some of these bugs flying around. See them against the trees?
Scooch over, Bethany. There you go. Scooch over, Obed. Got to make just a little bit of room, and you can fit all three of you on there. All right, Abby, go ahead and sit down next to Obed. Got to scooch over, bud. Scooch over. They're everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, if you can, if they stop long enough. <laughs> Abby, they're everywhere. Yeah. The cicadas are everywhere. They're taking over the planet. Uh -oh. At least in Virginia. They're taking over the world! Are, are other states going to get cicadas? There are some states in the eastern United States that are getting them. Wow. Uh, I'd have to look that up, but I, they're in um, Virginia, Maryland. Uh, I don't know, I'd have to look that up, but only a few states are having this particular brood, which is the Brood 10. There are other species that are emerging at different times in other areas. So you mentioned in our other video, uh, cicada video, uh, in the comments, you mentioned to someone about cicada popcorn. Well, People do catch them and eat them. Yes, they do. I was looking, uh, reading up about that today. It's wow. not, not really my cup of tea, but <laughs> they say that you should catch them and freeze them. In order to kill them, I guess it's a humane way of doing that. And then there's all sorts of recipes you can include them in. Once you remove the wings and the legs, uh, it kind of grosses me out a little bit, but I think people get into that though. I don't know if, that, if it would taste good or not. I don't know either. I don't think I want to find out. Your brother's a little bit into it. Who? Joel? Joel, of course, Joel. <laughs> Obed, you don't like the cicadas? <laughs> Bethany, check him out. <laughs> there we go. Dude, you not like the cicadas? <laughs> He's a funny boy. Oh, well. Dad just got back from mowing. Yeah, I just took a shower, thankfully. I, I, <laughs> Because, Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'll alert know. the media, and I so, am thankful that you took a shower. <laughs> well, I tell right, you what, that was an ordeal. Those mm -hmm. cicadas, I don't know if they're attracted to a big red mower, or if it's just me stirring up stuff, but I was a, I was getting dive-bombed by these cicadas, and they'd end up in my hat and my glasses, and, <laughs> and I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be, I'd be, well, my leg or Jesse on my back. Jesse thinks it's funny. And every time I, I tried to up. get one away, of course my mower turns, right? So I have all these yard uh, oh, no. things because I couldn't keep a straight line. Next thing you know, I'm doing this and, and trying to avoid like ending up in a ditch, right? I'm, I'm going to have ultimate control and I get dive bombed with these cicadas. Crazy cicada bugs. Oh, God, I hope that uh, that's the last time I have to do that. Yeah, it probably will. Away. I think it's quieter today. Don't you think it's a little quieter today yeah, than it was maybe, yesterday? But they were attacking me, and when the sun is you out, noticing oh that, my Bethany? Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I I noticed it this morning. I thought it was a little quieter out there, which is a good sign. Now, yesterday I was able to take Jessie outside on the swing. Unfortunately, I was not able to film her, but uh, okay. she had a blast listening to all that noise. Oh, you know, noise. she was just. Between the did birds and the noise? cicadas, she did enjoy it, didn't you, Jess? So this has been what we're about two and a half weeks in, and it's it's getting worse. It still is worse. I hope at some point it turns and gets better. We have a very hot weekend coming up, so that'll be interesting because they seem to like the hot weather. 
do their thing, whatever they do, you know, while they're above ground. But um, yeah, I, I did not appreciate that. Uh, shout out to all the landscapers and lawn people that go out there that have to do that every day. I only had to do it for an hour and a half. You think they're wearing uh, oh, hazmat gear or protective Perhaps. armor or something? Perhaps, maybe. Those cicadas are big bugs, too. I know they are. They're, they're good, they're, they're good, good size, size bug. All right. Well, that was, uh, it was an ordeal. I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's over. So, for now, well, and Arnie is hilarious because... Since they've been flying around, you know, in massive swarms, our dog thinks he can fly. He thinks he can fly? He thinks he can fly. <laughs> he chases after the bugs in the air, Bethany. The dog thinks he can fly. It's hilarious to watch. And sadly, that's another thing that's hard to catch on camera because we usually have our hands full. But we can tell the story, can't we, Bethany? Yep. Yeah. Did, you say that, uh, did you say the other day that you saw a cicada... He? No, no. I, did not. I did not see that. But I heard someone who was saying that there was this ooze or whatever all over their patio. Oh, all gross! Over their, all over their uh, deck furniture and everything. And, and he realized what it was. He thought it was sap, but he realized it wasn't sap. Oh, that's nasty. I know. So we've been looking out for that for sure. But uh, no, I didn't see a cicada pee, but that would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah. A little bit of nature. Bit I of know. Nature. It feels like National Geographic around here lately. And the lizards are getting huge. I know. I you know, I because they're myself. gorging out on the cicadas, the lizards are getting enormous. I know. And same with the frogs. They're awfully big yeah. <laughs> this year. Yeah. It's so, kind of funny, really. Uh, the circle of life, right, Bethany? Yep. Yes, it is. It All sure right. is. We'll I'm glad you. you survived, honey. I did. I made it. I made All it. All right. Okay. Honey. Yes? I hardly hear them. I know. I don't know. Well, it's... I hardly hear them also. I hear them a little bit. David, you missed it. You didn't come outside for the big, long, loud cicada concert the cicada symphony <laughs> we should go see if we can find one so that these kids isn't that yes hmm uh, Ooh. Well, got it. Oh, there you go. Got it. so would you guys like to see a dead cicada Ew, no yes <laughs> here here, pass it around. It's right here on the table. Okay, it, okay just don't squish it. Ah, it oh, fell through. It oh, fell through the crack. Oh. Hold on, I gotta pick it up don't again. Put it on a plate, honey. Oh, gross. oh that's gross, it's honey. Like... Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> the things a mother will do for her children. All right, put your hand out. All right, Anthony. don't squish him. He is dead. He was dead on the patio, but that's what he looks like. Yeah, look at him with okay. Your He's upside down, right? So his eyes are up. There you go. Now his eyes are on the front end of it. They're really very pretty. Their wings and things are pretty. Hanny, you want to touch the cicada? No, thank you. Why not? <laughs> because I don't like bugs. You don't want to just touch it while Bethany holds it? No. Okay, sure. Bethany, you can walk around and hand it to David. Okay, I guess I'll see it. Uh, just reach across. Okay, hold on. You can put it in his hand. All right. Okay. Don't squish it, David. <laughs> All right. So tiny, though. They're actually pretty big bugs. So, David, let me ask you a question. Would you ever eat a cicada? No. You know they're serving cicada tacos <laughs> at a restaurant not far from us. Can we? That's gross. You don't think you would eat it. that? I don't want to see the bug. Dad doesn't want to touch it? Not really. I've seen enough of them. I mean, I was mowing You today. have to hold it so you can pass it on to Abby. Here, hold on. What are you, a big Grab chicken? <laughs> I, I said the other day that these things are the ickiest, nastiest things. Okay? They're not, I mean, though. Put your hand out. It's okay. It's, 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 okay. it's okay. dead, Abs. It's okay. It's dead. It's fine. It's just a little bug. It's not going to move or anything. So, touch it? No. Okay. Hold it. <laughs> She's going to pass. Okay. okay, so you guys have, on, have seen it. a cicada. Uh, if you give it to Obed, the problem might, is, the it. problem is, well, he, and he, you know what he would do? I think he would squish it oh. in his hands. Would. Yeah. Okay. Can I put it on the ground? 
<laughs> if you're done with it, you're not going to eat it? No. You guys would never, ever eat a cicada? <laughs> you guys would never consider eating a cicada? No, thank you. What about the taco part? Well, the taco part, you mean take the bugs out and just eat the taco part? Ew, 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 ew. Yeah, that would be good. Ew, 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 ew. You sure you would never be willing to eat a cicada? Never, ever in a million years. Well, no. I probably Bethany, would try. Bethany. You probably would, Bethany. You're very adventurous. You and Joel would do it. Although I talked to Joel today, he said he would, if he had the choice between a steak taco and a cicada taco, he will take the steak taco any day, but he would be game to try it. David, you want to have a cicada? Chocolate covered? Can I try it? They're chocolate covered cicadas, David. I'm not that into chocolate. You're not that into chocolate? Even if it came from Cameron's? Is it an actual cicada? It's a chocolate cicada. No. Can I explain I'll how pass. they're made? You'll pass? pass? Can I have yours? Sure. You want to just look at it? They're on the plate. Uh, let me see. You have to open them though. Oh. Why are they so big? <laughs> they are big. Okay, here, I'll take this. Wipe. You're really not going to have one of those. I, I, I don't open if it's it actual cicada, I don't know. David. <laughs> I'm guessing it's not. Snooze, you lose. Can I try one? Here, David. <laughs> Bethany's okay. over there. Can I try one? Can I try one? Sure. You got it. Hey, Hannah? Uh -huh. Show the eyes. Look at the eyes, David. Okay, hold on. Hold it so that mom can see it too. Okay, there you go. All right. Ooh. They're kind of, um... They're like Isn't that M's. funny? Cameron's made chocolate cicadas. Can and I... no, David, there are no bugs in there. Can I explain how they're made? Yes, please do, Hannah. Okay, so, um, the way you make a chocolate-covered cicada... Like Wait, Dad. Can I explain first? Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Okay, so, um, the way, the way Cameron's makes a chocolate cicada is that uh, you have to have a special kind of mold, like a, a cicada-shaped mold, and you have to fill it up, and then you have to tap, 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 tap it until it sets in, and then you, and then for the eyes, you have the M&Ms, and um, one time, we almost packaged, we almost put a cicada with no eyes, and we called it a blind cicada. Oh, that's too funny, <laughs> Hannah. That's too funny. Oh, my God. Did everybody laugh, Hannah? Uh, no, but but the job coach was like, Oh, that is just too funny for work! <laughs> a cicada with no eyes. Yeah, but we caught it. But... A blind cicada. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Hannah's workplace, mm -hmm. right Cam there, Cameron's... Cameron's, Cameron's mm -hmm. You can probably order cicadas, chocolate cicadas. These are the dark chocolate ones. Mom's they have favorite. milk chocolate. Do they have white chocolate ones too, Hannah? We I hand one to so. Abby. Yeah. Here you go, Abby. I think they have assorted ones. So. It's all chocolate, and there's M&M &M eyes, okay? You well, David. Well, go ahead. You can at least it's all chocolate. You're a piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. I thought you liked chocolate that much that you would eat one with a bug in it. Oh, bad. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Hannah, you can't eat these. Yeah, for real. That's me be careful with the braces, okay? Mm -hmm. They're very hard. So now you guys can officially say mm -hmm. that you have all eaten a cicada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorta. Sorta. The chocolate is really, really good. It's really hard though. It's hard chocolate. You have to bite off little bits of it. It's a, it's, can you drop it? I hope you didn't drop it. It's just a tiny little M&M. I'm going to have to give you the other eye of the cicada. I don't uh -oh. like the chocolate itself. Can I put it in there so you don't lose it? Here. Is it good? Is it good, cicada? Yum, yum, cicada. <laughs> yum, yum, cicada. 
Tastes like M and M's, huh, Obed? <laughs> Cicada tastes like M and M's. <laughs> are we are we weird, Obed? Or just delightfully weird? Uh. <laughs> All right, this is from CNN. It says, love is in the air this spring in the eastern United States where billions of cicadas are appearing in the biggest emergence event since 2004. These group insects are part of a group called Brood X. These cicadas have been subterranean for 17 years, tunneling and feeding beneath the soil. When they're back above ground, finding a mate will be understandably a top priority. The loud buzzing drone cicadas make is actually a mating song emitted by male insects flexing a drum-like organ called a timbal. It's all boys calling girls, said entomologist Eric Day of the Virginia Polytechnic Institute. First you get a few here and there, then what happens is they start chorusing, or as Hannah calls it, chorusing. <laughs> Why do we say chorusing, Hannah? Because that's how you read it on the Braille display. On, on the Braille display, it says chorusing. <laughs> there are so many of them that the cicada calls all combine in this huge chorus. <laughs> Cicadas can be a nuisance for orchardists and farmers. Witnessing them is an awe-inspiring experience. This is a real treat. It's an unusual biological phenomenon. Periodical cicadas only occur in the eastern United States. They don't occur anywhere else in the world. It's just going to be an amazing, big, big show. And so, it was. And it was? It was indeed. Amazing. <laughs> we might be finished with our cicada. Yeah, I'm not hearing them at all. So. Our cicada season, at least for our videos, is probably over. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> aye, aye. Aye, aye, <laughs> So will they be done selling the chocolate cicada? Uh, probably. It's a seasonal thing. Hannah says, yeah. yeah, every 17 years you have a season. <laughs> Don't have to hang on to those molds. No. <laughs> yeah, we can't, we can't like toss them out because we still might need them in 17 years later. <laughs> they won't be pertinent. Abby, do you like that chocolate? Uh, she's eating it fine. I'm not I'm not able to chew it. I'm, it's too hard for me. Well, we're going to enjoy eating our cicadas in and peace Hannah and quiet. These, Hannah bought these with her own money. Oh, thank you, Hannah. You're welcome. She's able to buy something every week with a discount. So she was able to Bless us with the fruits of her labor. Treat her family. And treat her family, right, Hannah? Yep, it's the least I could do. Good job, Hannah. Thanks, Mom. And I, and I feel really proud of myself for doing this, too. We're proud of you, too. Yeah. I feel like an official adult this way, paying for my things with my own money. Indeed. <laughs> Good for you, Hannah. Every change.